The battlefields of the Second World War have been cleared of fighting of soldiers for more than seven decades. But one Toronto veteran is continuing to provide a first-hand account of the bloodshed and bravery to future generations. In this week's edition of What's Your Story, we meet Sergeant James Norman Baker. I was 23 in 1939 when the war was declared. It is always around this time of the year when James Baker is asked to tell his stories. This is a hand grenade. There was a time many years ago when the last thing Sergeant James Norman Baker wanted to do was talk about the war. When I came back, uh, I wanted to forget everything. Norm Baker was deployed with the Royal Regiment of Canada in 1943, and when he returned home in December of 1945, there was a parade. That's the coat I wore. We had to march from Union Station to the old armory on U uh, University Avenue. Soon after he returned to Toronto, he met and married his wife, Eileen. I think I was really in love there. And <laughs> was. <laughs> Still am. <laughs> They had four children and still live in the same home where they raised them. But even at 101 years old, those experiences that Sergeant Baker tried so hard to forget have stayed with him. When you, you're being bombed or uh, uh, being fired at. One of his duties was to record all the casualties. He still has the book. Uh, Mackenzie, he was killed. Sisler was killed. Sutton was killed. I had to put it out of my mind, you know, that... Uh, how serious it was. Norm Baker now shares his memories of the war every year at the local public school. In September, he spoke at the Invictus Games and got a personal thank you from Prince Harry. Because just as Sergeant James Norman Baker will never forget... It makes you feel good that, that people are remembering. So too should we honour those memories. And the ideas for this, uh, this segment come from you, so send us yours. You can email newstips at ctvtoronto.ca.